Thank you for calling. This is Steve. Could I have your last name and your zip code, sir, and pull up your order? Yep, last name is Tip Corn. Zip code is 900. I just made a call, but I, they say I had to call back because he was about to head. He had to go. He had to head out. Um, but I had some questions about the product bef- before I continued. Okay, be- before you before you ordered it. Yeah. Okay. I, what's your question? Well, I just only caught a glimpse of it on TV. I just saw like the last maybe ten seconds of it, and I was just trying to get mm-hmm. a better understanding of what it was. So these are like okay. special glasses that you can adjust a prescription on them to be whatever you want, so you don't have to ever get new glasses. Is that the idea? No, nope, no. Nope. This is. For you to go outside, if you want to try to see birds in a tree, okay. If you want to go to a a game where you can zoom in, see people at the game, so you're not so far away. It, it it's not for quote reading, reading glasses. Okay, well I don't do any reading. I just do more like looking for birds and lizards and stuff and uh, driving. Okay. You know, like I, what I was no, looking no, for is something I no, can wear you, while I'm driving and I can look no. for birds. Nope, you can't use these while you're driving. You, you got remember when you, when oh. you look into these things, right? Everything's going to be magnified to you. Okay, as it comes closer to you, it's going to totally blur up. Okay, so wouldn't that and be that, good then? Because you can see stuff from far away, and you can break in ahead of time. No, no, no. It's it's going to be totally blurry. Think of it this way: mm-hmm. if you if you have regular binoculars on, okay, and. And and if you're going like 30 miles an hour, you're catching up to that thing right away. The stuff that's close to you, you can't see. Well, but you will, well, you will have seen it before you got to where it was, where it is. Then when you get blurry, I know, but, but I know, but when you blur, when you break, right. you, you you're going to break too early or way too late. Well, it's better to break too early, isn't it? That's what they say. Uh, don't be oh, sorry. I know, but, uh, yep. Be be ready. I, uh, I know, but think of the people behind you. You're oh. you're going along. You you break. They don't see anything in front of you. They're going to smack you in the rear. Oh well. Oh, is that, I don't know how, who drives like that. Because you can't see around a car. Oh, I mean, so I no. I always look behind the car ahead of me. Oh, so if so, you, so, so if a person's so, breaking and they and so if you're driving behind somebody and that person in front of you breaks, but you don't see what they're breaking for, you just hit them. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Oh. That's why that's why you never drive close, but I always look behind the car in front of me. And so well, what happens when you rear end them when then when they when they break I, or something? I never, I never have. I never oh. have. Oh, but it, you, given the circumstance you would choose to rear end them cuz you'd be like, "Why are they stopping? I'm going to show them what for why not to stop." Is it like that? Right. Well, yeah. Correct. But but you don't wear these driving. You okay. do not. What about video games? Video games. You could, right? It would make it look like, a, like you have a giant TV or something, right? You could play well, you, well, from far you, away. The peop, people have he, here used these mm-hmm. glasses while working here on the computer screen. That's cool. So I, so, so I, I suppose you can use them via a video game. That's a great idea. Yeah. Do you Where where are y'all working at? We're in Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. I've been there once. It's really pretty there. It's mm-hmm. probably pretty hot there right now, isn't it? Uh, it's in the eighties, nineties, yeah. Eighties, nineties. Well, I would say it's pretty hot. You know, I don't know. Do you consider that hot, or do you say that's not hot? No, that's not hot. What do you consider hot? Are you from like the desert? Uh, nope. Uh, hot is in the uh, high nineties, hundreds. Oh wow. Okay. So, what do you consider this to be? Just like like fun, or like warm? It's warm? not hot. It's not. It's not hot. It's double warm. How about double warm? No, double warm is just over hundred. That's it. Oh, so what would you consider this temperature to be then? Because I'm in the same temperature strata that you just mentioned. I'm in that, and I could say it's hot, but I don't know. Maybe I should not use that word. I should say something else. Where are you at? at, at in Arizona? Well, we're near there, yep. Yeah, no, I, that's not hot. That's dry heat. That's totally different. Okay. What, what do you mean? I don't understand. D- dry heat is totally different than regular hot and humid. How so? Hot, hot and humid, you will die if you were to go to a hot and humid, you would think it's about 130. 130. It, oh yeah, easy. That's like a so, it's like uh, a miniature oven or something. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, so, I did not uh, know yeah. that. Oh yeah, yeah. If you if you ever go down to, if you go down to where water is totally around you. Okay, like an, an island. Like, hum- a, like an island. 
Correct. And, okay. and it gets to be hot. Uh-huh. You will you will die because it's it's so hot and humid. Where you guys are, you don't have that much humidity. I have a question. Couldn't you just get in that water and cool down? Well, you you can, but but you do. But a lot of people who are not used to it die. Because they, they don't know how to swim, or because they just don't no, know no, they can no, get in the they, water. They just don't know how to cool off. A lot of people don't like the water. Like they're like dogs or something. Because dogs do that. Well, dogs can't get in the water because they don't know it's water. They just think it's for drinking, and then they try to drink Correct. it all, and then they just die. Yeah, yeah. But all well, all dogs know how to swim because they dog paddle. Oh, I didn't, are you serious? Wait, wait. Say that again. Oh yeah. All, all dogs know how to swim because they dog paddle. What, what does that, that mean? They have like a special like motor or something in them. I don't know. <laughs> no. No, no. If you watch a dog go in the water, okay. they start moving their feet all the time. It's called dog paddle. That's why they tell tell you when you learn how to swim, dog paddle. Okay. You, it, that's where that comes from. So you just dog paddle. So so the best thing to do on a hot day is to get down by that water where it's super hot and get in and dog paddle. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me it's 130 degrees there. No, wow. no. It can, it, it can be. It can be. In, well, you know, or it feels um, like it. It feels like well, 130. No, no. Well, when it gets to be 100 near water, uh huh. You know, you know, near 100, it's going to be hot and, and humid. Uh huh. You're because you're from Arizona. You're going to think it's much hotter. Oh yeah. And it's not because it's now humid and humid adds. You know, because it got to be humid up here. Wow. Temperature was like 91. Humidity with the humidity was up to 99 percent. Oh, that's all, that's like temperature. that's like a rain in the air. Correct. Yep. So basically, okay. surrounded by air. So this is what I don't understand. Okay, humidity is ninety nine percent. It's mm-hmm. ninety degrees. Makes it feel like it's one hundred and thirty because the water's around you. But how come then when you get into water like a pool, which is a thousand percent water, right? Can we agree on that? Thousand mm-hmm. percent water. How come that cools you down? Is it because it's so much water? Cause no, it's just it's just because the water is on your skin. It doesn't really cool you down. Oh. It's, it's cooling the outside of your skin. What about a convection cool oven? Do you know about that? No, don't know anything about that. Okay, I heard a convection oven on the news. They said when it does, a, uh, instead of raining, if it does wind, which wind is like rain, but it's not water, it's just like air. Mm. When it does that from above, because there's these hot clouds up there, but they have mm-hmm. we have these hot clouds. They come over, and you think it's going to be a lot cooler because the sun is going hot, and but actually it's a hot cloud, and it does a, mm-hmm. a does a, a a wind from the top, and it does a they call it a convection oven because what it does is it blows heat like um like a hair dryer, like it's been plugged mm-hmm. in, like a plugged in hair dryer, and that mm-hmm. will. Because um, um, if you do laundry, laundry, you don't have, have to use the dryer. dryer. Right. Yeah. So what you're saying is you guys out there, you can't hang your clothes up. Oh, no, you can. You can. That will dry. That, that's totally different. Well, you said it's 99%. Yeah. What about if it's 1,000? You you, okay. You, you, you you can put it outside. The heat from the sun is going to dry, dry oh, your the clothes. Heat from the sun. What about if it's like a nine, uh, like 900% humidity? It, it it doesn't matter. It's just going to be more damp on your clothes. It's not going to be super dry. Oh. It's going to take longer to dry it. That's well, what, all it's going to be. What's the highest percent you can get before it's it's wet? One hundred percent. One hundred percent is total rain. Oh well, no, oh, a no, thousand, thousand percent. percent is. No, one hundred percent. Well, you can't go a thousand percent. Well, you can, yes, you can because there's that, that's the number percentage. It is that's the highest number per thousand. No, no, no. You well, you, you can't go over one hundred percent. Go go ahead and watch all the on the, all the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it goes up to 100%. It's pure rain. You know, when they go ahead and say it's 80% chance of rain, they'll never go ab- above 100%. I swear I saw once they said uh, 500% chance of rain, and it was yeah. and it was ne- yeah. and it definitely rained the next day very hard. I think yeah. that's probably, you know, I think that's probably a thing that's different where I live and where you live, because the, here <laughs> the rain is diff- more doesn't happen as much, so when it does happen, they say, hey, look, you really got to look out for the rain. It's going to be a 500% rain, not just an 80%, because people around here, like, they don't believe it, because people here are stupid, so they don't get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. interesting. Well, well, then how come those glasses, how come the Zoomers, they, um, they say, like, magnifies 300%? Three hundred percent, what you can see with the naked eye. So three hundred percent. So that's a that's a percent that I thought it can't go over a hundred though. No, that's different. 
Okay, how, that's, I don't understand. That, that is, uh, if you can see good at uh, 40 feet, uh, you know, 40 yards, right. 300, 300% in, is you, you that much closer to you? So it's like that's being on a is. horse. It's like if you rode on a horse toward the item that you're looking at, but didn't ride on Correct. it. Correct. Okay. So is it, does it have like a stabilizer? So if you're on a horse, you can still look no, at it? No, it does not. No stabilizer. Okay. No. Because I would want to, I would we want to use them with a horse because that's the best way to get toward birds because the horses don't scare birds like a car does. Correct. Same with lizards. Lizards don't mind horses. Uh, did you know that? Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah, that's weird. I, I don't. Know, for some reason, lizards are not bothered by horses, um, but they are bothered by dogs. I tried to do. I have a v- very large dog. It's a double Saint Bernard. It's like a St. Bernard, but it's brewed, brewed in Russia, and it's very large, and you can ride it. You know, it doesn't like to be ridden, but you can ride it, and it will um, allow you to get super close to the lizards to take their pictures. But you you think so, but it, it scares them away, so I got a horse instead, and the horses just don't. I think the horses and the lizards are friends because they're both um, of the same, the same family or something, so they don't scare them. And the, so I will be riding the horse toward the lizards and the birds. And that's why I need a shock absorber. But those don't have them, huh? Nope. So they t- do not have them. Okay. Nope. But you could mount anything onto there, right? Like once I get them, I can do whatever I want to them? Correct. So you can't drive with them, but you can ride a horse, no problem. Correct. Okay. All right. Is that because the horses, they are more friendly and stuff, like toward a lizard? Nope. No, no, it's uh, it's it's just a don't spook. That's all it is. Oh, it's a spook, right? Okay, yeah, because like you were saying, if you, because a horse, if you're gonna stop early, because you've got your your zoomies, you can see far, you see that lizard far ahead, or maybe a spider, and you stop. The person behind you on a horse will, their horse knows that you stopped, and you don't, they don't have to hit the brakes, right? Correct. Yeah. See, that's. What, I think I'm going to try this out now when I do the car drive is when I, someone ahead of me breaks for no reason and I don't see anything. I don't see like a wall or a stop sign or like a person or like a child. I'm just going to keep just hit, give them a little tap because that way mm-hmm. you can collect insurance because they, they are at fault for stopping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I, okay. I, I have a friend who did that actually. Who um made uh, he's made all of his money doing that just by what he does. He drives around real fast and he just if somebody does a, a, the wrong uh, move in traffic, he just lets them know. He teaches them. You know, you have sometimes you have to teach people the hard way, and that's just you have to hit them. Yep. And but that's okay. you know cars are made for that, so we all know which way we're gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. Um, okay, and the, so is that a, is that a thousand percent thing that will work out? Correct. Okay, because that, so that's a thousand percent always. Okay. Okay, great. Um, Have a good one. Okay, you too. Uh, make sure you uh, when you find when you follow up on that, be sure to look out and let me know if there's a lizard you see any sizes of the one I was mentioning. Yeah. Great. Okay. 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 Okay, that sounds good. And just let me know there if it ever reoccurs there. Okay. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to try to figure out this this trip because I think if I get them to go on the trip, then I can see how far we're going to be there for. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Is that something that I would want to get an extra one for, or what do you think? No, it's a buy one get one free offer. Okay, so if I I could, is it possible to double them up to wear them to stack them? No, there you is can't. not. Well, is that because why is that? Because it just fits on the side of your head. You can't double it. But I could I could put it on there on the front. No, it, it won't fit because you got to push them out further. They won't go. Oh, so it's like a it's like a telescope. Is it's it? uh, similar, but but it's it just like a pair of glasses. You can't put two on because the glasses get in the way of each other. Oh, I I've put two glasses on before. You just put them on on top of the one that's underneath the other one. Mm. You know, like, okay. you ever had double done double sunglasses? Or sometimes, say, my uncle has prescription uh, glasses, but he also wears sunglasses, and he'll put his sunglasses on over. The prescriptors, and then he just does it, and you know, he goes hunting, he drives that way, he'll fish, so 
I'll, I'm going to do that too, but when I'm on vacation. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Um, thanks for telling me all that about weather. Okay. Great. Are you going to Are you going to figure out what you, what to call the weather? Because you said you're just not hot. Uh, yeah, just go online and search it on Google. What should I search? Just go to Google and search weather. Okay, now I'm going to search what do you call it when it's what temperature do you say it is? When it when it gets up above... Uh, when it gets... Uh, Humidity is up above, above 70%. 70%. Then what I type in then after that? Just see what it pulls up with that. Just type in see what it pulls up after that? Correct. Okay, when it gets up above 70%, see what it pull, hold on, pulls up after that. I did it. It said, it said rate shock. In California, Obamacare to increase individual health. I am Boise, spokesman.com, um, U.S. and News World. Uh, Philadelphia has a descent of 500 feet above the ground. Uh, yep. Kevin Slavin, how algorithms shape our world. Here's one. Um, journalist has fallen 10%. I don't see anything about weather here. Yeah. What else should I put? You're just t- the first thing you told me was that it's not hot out. You said it's not hot, even though it's almost it's in the 90s. But you didn't say right. it's, it's not double warm. What would you call it then? To That's me, what it's I'm trying not to figure out. What was that? To me, it's not hot. Oh, okay. But what, what would you call it then? You just say not hot? No, just warm. Just warm. Okay. How much cooler does it have to get to be not warm? Down to 20 degrees. 20 degrees? Wow. Mm-hmm. So you mean 20 degrees all the way up to 80 degrees is warm? Just warm. Yep. And what do you call it when it's below 20? It's cool. Cool. Tw- 20 to what is cool? 20 to a minus 10. Minus 10 is cool. Wow. That's pretty interesting. Then what do you call it below minus 10? Then it gets cold. Okay, then how, how much further does it get before it gets something else besides cold? No, you can't get below cold. It's just it's cold. You can't get below cold? Nope. Oh, man, I didn't know that. I thought you could. What about coldest? Nope. Oh, there's because no... It's, it, no, no, coldest is just an, an adjective. Oh, okay. So it's just an adjective. So basically cold is as cold can be. Negative Correct. 10 all the way down to to the point in which uh, matter stops moving because it is zero degrees, huh? Correct. So zero degrees is the coldest it gets, right? Nope. Well, what's the coldest it gets? Mm, minus 50, minus 60. So it never gets colder than that, ever? No. Wow. Uh, well, it, uh, nothing has been registered, no. So in the wow, so the history of the world, it's never gotten colder than sixty degrees below the zero. Nothing, nothing that has been registered. Okay, nothing been registered. So you think maybe like when dinosaurs were here, it got really cold, like negative. Well, that's what every, that's what everybody froze with. Yeah, they did. They all froze. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, that, think of a think of a glacier. Yeah. What's that? That's moving like a, ice. Oh, it's moving ice. How how does that work? Because ice is hard. It's yeah. like. I got. So, I so, got to get going. Oh, where are you gonna go? I got other calls. I got to take. Oh, you do. Okay. Well, I can talk with them, or I can wait if you want to. Okay. What do you think we should do? Got to hang up. Okay. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.